We are back at noon. Angie Orkin with Wisconsin Beef, Beef Council is here with us. Angie, almost the 4th of July. Can you believe it? No. Summer's flying by. <laughs> I know. And you're helping us make the 4th a little bit easier, a couple different yes. recipes. Yeah, you know, and like we were talking, they're kind of not even, you can make these without a recipe. Super simple. Very simple, very simple ingredients. But if you're going to be entertaining for the 4th or even traveling, make it simple so you're not futzing over your recipe and worrying about yeah, the ingredients. Yeah, you want to be able to enjoy it. It's going to be good right, no matter what. Right, right. So the first is a really nice salad. Um, it's called a top round ranch salad. So if you use top round steak, which is super, super lean, it needs to be tenderized. Um, I invest in one of these little guys, a little tenderizer. Oh, nice. It's perfect for top round because it is so lean and really needs to be tenderized. I like to use this on both sides. This recipe just calls to marinate your steak in salsa. So I bought some salsa, salsa out of the deli like the fresh salsa. Yeah. I mean, I saved half to put on as our dressing, and then I used half on the steak, and I actually used like a petite sirloin. So you could really use any steak for this recipe. So this, we're gonna, since it's kind of a ranch salad, where it's a little westerny, so we're gonna do a little corn. This was just frozen sweet corn, but we're getting into the season. Yeah, we are. Where we can have fresh. Right and around then the corner. Some black beans. Then I'll put on some top sirloin. Oh, that looks good. Getting that protein in there. We get the. Pr I know. I love big, huge salads with steak on top. It feeds so many people. You're getting steak. You're getting that protein. But really, it's a lot more economical. And if you use that top round, very economical. And very summertime fresh, too. Okay, then let's do some more salsa because it's going to be red and white and beef color because it's the 4th of July. And then a little bit of ranch. Drizzle over the top, and then you do the tortilla strips. Don't forget the little toppings. Yep. Finishing it off. Look at that. Now, I also got a slider because it's 4th of July weekend. We're going to have burgers, oh, right? Heck so yeah. I'm going to do sliders for us today. I love doing sliders too because you can have one and still have something else because you got plenty of room. So I did six sliders to my pound of ground beef, just a little salt and pepper. Then I topped with fresh mozzarella. Then we're going to top with tomato. These are little caprese sliders. Oh, look at that. Yes. And then we'll do a little bit of fresh basil and then balsamic glaze. And that's it. We got the caprese salad going here, but it's on top of a beautiful, delicious ground beef that looks delicious. burger full of protein. Okay. All right, we're just about out of time, so okay. people are interested, yep. Angie. Uh, what's the best way for them to get these recipes? Beeftips.com. Click right on the homepage on As Seen on TV. You got these, plus some other fe festive, patriotic recipes. Perfect. Yeah, I'll let you continue. Weekend. We're going to get to